Today in App Judgment, see the world in a new way with Layer. This episode of App Judgment is brought to you by Verizon Droid Apps. Welcome to App Judgment, Revision 3's mobile phone application review show. My name is Ron Richards, and one category of applications we haven't looked at very much are augmented reality apps. So just what is augmented reality? Well, imagine if you're able to combine the world around you with the information from the internet. I know, real matrixy kind of stuff. Well, with your phone, a solid 3G connection, and Layer, you can tap into the matrix. You can find Layer in the Android Marketplace, and it's totally free. So now that you've installed Layer, how do you use it? It took me a while to wrap my head around the concept, but here's basically how it works. Within the application, there are a series of layers. These layers contain hooks to the internet for data. You select a layer, point your phone at the world around you via your camera, and then Layer feeds information based on the layer you selected. Once you open the application, you're presented with a list of layers. They've organized the layers into multiple types along the top. You start out by default with featured layers. These are ones selected by the folks at Layer, so you know they're gonna be pretty cool. You could tap popular to see the most popular layers used by other users, or you can tap local to see layers that may be of interest to you based on your location. If you know the name of a layer you want, you can search for it. And finally, once you've used the application a bunch, you can save favorites and access them quickly and easily. Let's take a look at some of the more popular layers. They have layers that pull in data from Twitter, GoWalla, and Foursquare, so if you want to see posts and check-ins around you from those social networks, these are the layers to use. There are a bunch of real estate and apartment finder layers that show you available properties in the world around you. As you can imagine, the layers related to restaurants, bars, and businesses are super informative, and there's a bunch of layers ranging from the yellow pages to specific business types like shopping or bars. There's even layers to help you locate the nearest In-N-Out Burger or Tim Hortons, if you're lucky enough to be in an area that has one of them. So now that we know what Layer is, let's step into the world of augmented reality after this word about Verizon Droid Apps. Droid does apps. Verizon Droid Apps have access to every tool the phone has, including the compass, GPS, accelerometer, video player, image capture, etc. The power of the Droid Apps allows them to run in the background for multitasking and give background notifications. Verizon's dominant network and 3G coverage create an unparalleled mobile data solution to keep you connected to the web and allow you to run heavy, data-rich features anywhere at any time. And with the ever-expanding Android market, you'll always be able to quickly download the apps you need to get the most out of your Droid. Check out droiddoes.com. All right, so we've got some layers teed up. Let's check it out. To see the world via a selected layer, just tap the layer you want to use. The phone will switch to camera mode where you can see the world through your phone's camera lens. You'll notice a layer on top of that camera view. In the upper right corner, you see a circle radar-like view with dots for results. This shows you where, in relation to where you're standing, those results are. So if we move to the left, you see the dots move from being to your left to being in front of you. You also see some information, like how many data results there are and the range of the data. Depending on what layer you're using, this can be overwhelming. Luckily, you can switch the mode on the upper left. You can choose to see a list, which turns the camera off and shows you a list of the data points and their distance from you. Or you can switch to a map, which plots the various data items on a Google map. And you can switch back to reality, which is the view from your camera. Along the bottom, you get a data window, which gives you text and images as they pertain to the layer you're viewing. Here, we're looking at tweets posted to Twitter around us. I can tap on a data point, and the block will show me the tweet contents and how far away they are from me. Along the bottom, there are also some handy tools like favorites control, where you can add and remove the layer from your favorites, settings, which allows you to fine tune the layer by either setting the search radius or adding a filter to the search results, and finally, a button to go back to the layers list. Tapping the menu button brings up some more options. You can access settings where you can set the distance units and whether or not to show a grid on top of your camera view. Back on the menu, you can see you've got sharing options. You can take a screenshot of your current view, refresh the data to get the latest results, and if your layer has filters, you can access them here. Now, depending on what you're searching for or the layer you're using, like Twitter, for instance, the reality view can be overwhelming. You've got the view from the camera, and then there's the potential to have a bunch of icons and markers dropped in on top of your view getting in the way. There's a certain practicality question here. If I'm in a hurry and I need to find something specific like the auto parts store or something, I'm not sure Layer is what I would use. I would just search Google in my browser, or if I'm using Layer, I find myself popping over to the list view more and more often. But if I'm not in a rush and I want to explore and experience the world around me, then Layer can be a fun way to do that, especially with that Wikipedia Layer. Layer is a really cool way to search and experience the world around you, merging the data on the internet with your location in a cool way. With tons of layers to choose from, there's so many things to discover with this neat way to utilize your phone's camera and high-speed data connection. That said, sometimes the data can be overwhelming and hard to actually see the world around you. Luckily, Layer has multiple options for filtering and viewing that data. Also, you've got to be careful when walking around while viewing the world through your phone. Don't walk into other people, telephone poles, or into traffic. 
Life in the Matrix can be a distraction. Download this app. For a new and different view on the world, complete with data streams, Layer is a neat way to show off what your phone can do and give you great location-based information at the same time. Are you using Layer? What are some of your favorite layers? Email me at appjudgment at revision3.com. While you're on the internet, check us out on Facebook, Twitter, or on youtube.com where you can subscribe. You can also subscribe on our homepage at revision3.com slash appjudgment. And don't forget to check out droiddoes.com for more great apps. I'm Ron Richards, this is App Judgment, and I'm going to go find the nearest in and out.